Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric the Steric Plank Survival Evolved. Now, this video is going to explain something that I see a lot of people still don't understand how to beat this guy. Which is the Alpha Bird Mother. Apparently many people still have problems. <coughs> still getting a sickness, guys. A lot of things of they don't understand how the Rexes have to be damage. A lot of other things. <coughs> Excuse me. Dang. I'm going to show you guys what stats you're going to want, what stats you're going to use on your Rexes, what damage you want. And this is only to beat it in like four minutes. But presumably you want, this is if you can get the Rexes I have, which are 15k health at birth, 525 melee. I got this through trade. My server, because someone had it. You're gonna want to level it all the way to like 29k health, about 900 melee, or about 100% imprint. I have 80 on some of these. Yeah, I have 82 on some of these. Now, Alpha Brother Mother does hit for an extreme. Amount. You're not gonna have to go so like, oh, if you you can either do this in duo, like we're gonna do, or you can do this uh, solo. If you're gonna do it solo, what you're gonna want to do is like. Sh sh Right here in the game, you're gonna stand right next to your Yuki, gonna whistle it, make sure your butt's next to it, and teleport in. Not want to uh, whistle, attack all targets as soon as you enter the fight. Wanna keep him on passive. Wanna keep these guys on attacking target. The reason you wanna keep this on passive is so when everything goes charging, Yuki doesn't go running forward, it'll stay right next to you. So when start it. Now the thing of the matter is, so I need to show you guys. See, I already have proof I've killed it right here, Alpha Brood. And as you I'm gonna show the server info I'm on. This is the official PV70. It's legacy now, but this is still what we used to fight it like. This is the 10 Sarko town scales. And Bronto things. Stuff right. And on top of that, it's going to use Helen's Separate. Yes, I know there's an easier way of doing this, so please don't need that. Um, that is also, in case you're wondering, I've also killed Alpha Megapithesis with this also. Except the strategics is different. If you guys would like to see a video on that, do hit me up in the comments. I can do a fight. Show you guys how to do Alpha Megapithesis without having to run his arena. Still have to be around in his arena, just you don't have to go. Now, these are all official stats. I'm not hacking, cheating, bullying, or... What you're gonna want to get is a Mastercraft blueprint that's 80 armor or higher. You're going to have to have a third tribe mate that is all leveled in crafting. You're gonna want to level this crafting as far as you can do it. I had a person who was level 80 do this for me and rolled the saddles. Now, some of these saddles are in 89, some of these others are 104. I have two at 105. Seven. Point is, you can do this without with these types of Rexes if you have ones at the stat value. Without even having to worry about it, you can do it. Fight now, it's gonna be a quick fight. Go. Sold it. Okay. On it. When everything has to be inside the circle. Squish. Yeah, there is 20 Rexes in here. Make sure there's 20. I'm gonna go below it because he's getting weak. Don't do it without a Yuki either, because if you do it without a Yuki, things are gonna get worse. Um, we tried it without a Yuki and picked my lower level one. Oh. Oh, I'm 
I'm charge him. These guys will swap. Back there, so it doesn't get hit by anything. Even with these stats, my Rexes do get jacked. Now, the Mega Physicist, I take about 4k damage on all my Rexes. As you can see, I didn't jump on one that gave me. thing to do is same going in you're getting all that crap don't freak him out your dinos when you leave get off your dinos after the fight because everything dies now doesn't clear thing then get off don't stay on your stuff and find out which dino I guess has your element in it check the brute mother in case she does have it it's happened checked her Wondering. That was her stats for life. Eat her fair and square. It's the element. Eat it out. Teleport back. But it's a rinse and repeat with these guys, and it did take a very long mutation. In case you're wondering, instead of a Rex's butt. Health, you're gonna come out with like 14k, maybe 8k. It's gonna be. Chad. I have some at 14. It's, it's according to how the fight goes. Strong it's when she's summoned. I have one at 8k, but I've never lost a fight so far. And pull them out and start wait till the next day to do another one. That's. And if you guys want to do a faster way, get a lot of teammates, you can do this multiple times if you have a lot of writers. If you don't, though, this is how to solo or duo it. And use the same formation every time. Keep the in the bag, charge the Rexes, and make it pinner. Just keep whistling, attack this target. But follow this, guys, and most likely you'll be able to beat them. Show you the mutation tree real quick, because... This is how many mutations. I this is not like this is like overbreeding time and everything else. But pretty much how it goes is you will breed and breed and breed stats. You gotta wait for a mutation each time. And... All right, guys. Well, that was the end of the Alpha Broodmother, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.